what are we what are we doing here like what is this gonna be like but i i am just not seeing the vision at all for my 100th video i decided to do something a little bit different i just finished building this game which i'm calling pixel ball but when i started this project i had no idea what i was going to be building that's because I asked you, the Bite Size Engineering community, to decide a project for me to build for my 100th video. Let's rewind the clock and go to past Zach when he started this project. You clicked on this video, which means you saw the thumbnail and you saw the title, and you know exactly what I'm about to build for this project. The problem is, as I record this right now, I have no idea what I'm about to build. In fact, this box just showed up on my doorstep an hour ago and it's filled with parts that I'm gonna need. I'm putting an enormous amount of trust in my community members. I'm actually really excited about this. I have no idea what's gonna happen. The last 99 videos I had planned out and I knew what I'd be building. This one's gonna be a lot more exciting, so let's dive in. Before I open this box, let me explain how all of this came together. So I asked my team members, Ian and Jonathan, to help me set this up. They started out as Patreon members a long time ago, and over the years, they've become great friends, and in fact, now they help out with almost every single video you see here on this channel, as well as the DigiKey channel. So I connected the two of them with my producer, Bob, who's actually running this camera here, and the three of them kind of worked without my knowledge to set all of this up. They've ordered parts, they've sent things to me, and now we're ready to build this project. So if this goes completely awry and I end up blowing myself up or something, you can blame the three of them. Jonathan just sent me an email with some instructions on how to get started. So before I do anything, I'm gonna watch that video here on my phone. This is legitimately my first time watching it. This will be a raw reaction. Hey Zach, it's your team member Jonathan here. Congrats on your 100th video. In honor of this milestone, your community has come together to challenge you to build something that we've come up with. Since we've been watching your videos, we feel like we know you. You love games and you love making big things. We had an idea for a game that we want you to make. We've got a general idea for what it is, but we thought it'd be more fun for you to put it all together blindly. We've ordered a bunch of parts from DigiKey for you to get started, and you must use all of them. We also have a list of items that you have to have get at a to local hardware store. Plus, we email the list of things that we think you'll have around your shop. Oh, and don't forget to put your bite-sized engineering spin on it. Congratulations and good luck. Okay, this is awesome. I do love games and I'm really excited to see what you, the community, have come up with. Uh, so like Jonathan said, some of the parts are here in the box, some of the stuff I will probably already have in my workshop, and some of the stuff I'll need to go and grab from a hardware store. So I'm gonna open this box now for the first time and give you guys my reaction on what I see in here. It's kinda heavy. Bob, you know what's in here, right? You, you, you've been in communication with, with the guys. Is there gonna be like a, a box, of, like that can of snakes that jump out at me or whatever? Okay. Well, it's from DigiKey, so here's a packing list. So I'm not gonna look at that. I'm gonna actually just gonna dump this out. What the heck is this? Okay. Terminal block breakout for a Raspberry Pi Pico. All right. That gives me a hint. I know I'm gonna be using a Raspberry Pi Pico. What is this? The Raspberry Pi Pico. So those go together. What else we got here? Addressable LED strips. There's an RGB LED strips. There's two of them here. Okay. What the heck am I going to be doing with this? It's going to be a Pico that lights something up with some LEDs. Adapter, terminal block, two position, 2.1 jack. Okay, this is like a power jack. I think this is probably going to how we power everything. Stemma QT 5, to, five volt to 3 volt level shifter. Okay, so we're going to have to be using some 5 volt to 3 volt log logic here. A piezo buzzer. Oh, good. It's gonna be noisy. Thanks a lot, guys. This is an AC-DC desktop adapter, five volt, 50 watts. Okay, so that's probably gonna go with that. This is what caught my eye when I opened this. What the heck are these things? Are these like giant arcade buttons? <laughs> what have you guys gotten me into? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. These are huge. I have never seen arcade buttons this big. I didn't even know they made them this big. This is literally labeled massive arcade button. I gotta take this out to see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, it's got an LED on there, the, the limit switch. These are huge. I'm excited. I'm also a little bit nervous. 
Let's check the parts list from the email that they sent. Uh, these are the things that I should already have in my workshop or from a local hardware store. First on the list, we have two 10 foot pieces of EMT conduit. I definitely don't have that on hand. I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store for that. Next, we've got a door hinge, a two by four cut in half. I definitely have some two by fours over there. Labels that say left, right, swap, and power up. What is that gonna do? Okay, so I'm gonna have to make labels somehow. I've got a label maker, I've got a laser cutter, um, so I'm gonna have to make some labels for that. Small zip ties, definitely have those around here. Miscellaneous wires, I've got a bunch of spools of wire, and miscellaneous hardware. I'm guessing that means fasteners. So I think I should be covered there, so I'm gonna have to head to the store to pick up the first few items on this list. What, do we, what are we doing here? Like, what is this gonna be? Like some sort of game, LED strips, big giant arcade buttons, like, this is gonna be juicy. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be good. I'm looking at these electronics and like I can picture like kind of how they would go together, but the thing that's throwing me off is a door hinge and the conduit. Like, and then the two by four. Like, what how are the like is this gonna be this is gonna be big? Like, what are they gonna have me like what is this gonna be? And then like the labels are like kind of have me a little bit on edge here. One of them said power up. Like, what is that gonna be? <laughs> So uh, hold on, like there's no more instructions to this. Like I just have to come up with my own game, but I have to use, use all the parts, all every part. Like I can't like tuck it away and pretend like I used it. No, I have to use it. Okay, who's who's gonna know? Everybody, because I just read all the parts. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know if I didn't use one of the parts. All right, I need you to hold me accountable. I will use every one of these parts. I'm gonna have to write code for this. Yep. I'm gonna have to figure out how this all goes together, and I'm gonna have to put my own bite-sized engineering spin on it. Yep. Okay. All right, I've already got the gears turning up in my head. I, I've got some ideas. So let's go ahead and go to the store and pick those things up and then we'll get started on this. I struck out at store number one. I don't wanna say which one, but if you had some farm equipment like a tractor or something, this would be the place you'd get supplies for it. Fortunately, I had a lot better luck at store number two. I'm not sure what kind of door hinge they want to get because like it just says one door hinge. It doesn't say like what size or like what style. Do I need one of these no squeak door hinges? I don't know. Maybe something like this? I don't know. What do you think? Does that look right? Okay, I hope this is right. I really have no idea what I'm even gonna use this for. Here's where things start to get interesting. I've got all the pieces laid out here on my workbench and I'm getting a good look at them for the first time. I've had a little bit of time to think about this and I'm not gonna lie, I am still stumped. So my first thoughts are that I wanna build some sort of reaction timing game where you like the button lights up and you have to hit it. Uh, if this is a two player game, are you competing with another person? Are you cooperating? With the LED strips, they're individually addressable so I can have those react based on the left and right buttons. Um, I really don't know what swap and power up are going to do. I was talking with cameraman Pat and we were brainstorming some ideas and before I got too far, I wanted to sketch some of these out on paper. So I'm thinking that I've got the two by fours. One will go on each side, something like this. This is gonna be a top down view and they'll be spaced apart like five feet, obviously not to scale. Please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. And then I've got four of those metal tubes. I'll probably drill holes in the wood and kind of sink those in like this. So that would be like one, two, three, and four. And then I'm assuming this is a two player game. So like player one will be on one side, player two will be on the other. And I'm thinking that I will take some of those RGB LED strips and kind of run them across the metal tube like this. And then I don't know if I want to mount the buttons to the two by fours or if I want to laser cut a nice like console or something, but I'm thinking I'm going to have those large push buttons um, here on each side. 
And I'll have to figure out what is the goal of this game? Like, what are the game mechanics? Are the players working with each other? Are they trying to compete? Are they trying to make the LEDs light up all the way to the other side? And is their opponent trying to stop them? I'm assuming that this is laying down, but what if this is supposed to be like standing up vertical like this? and there's like bars running between the players and maybe they're standing on opposite sides. Maybe it's like connect four and you're supposed to like move left and right and like drop the little token in. Maybe this is like a power up game where you have to like tap the button and your progress shows up on the LED strip like you're trying to build up the power bank and then swap, maybe swap something with your opponent and like you're trying to compete. I don't know, there's, there's some things in here that I kind of have to think through a little bit more. The other idea that Pat and I came up with is like, you know in those children's arcades, the roulette game with the light going around in the circle and you have to time it just right? Maybe there's something like that we can do with these lights. Like I said at the beginning, this is the 100th video on the Bite Size Engineering channel and I wanted to do something fun and challenging. I'm having a lot of fun, but I'm also struggling a little bit on figuring out what I'm supposed to be building. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. You as the viewer already know what I'm supposed to be building, but it's not so obvious to me, and I'm at the point where I need a lifeline. I've been locking in my answer, I'm gonna phone a friend, I need to get Jonathan and Ian on the phone to give me a little bit of guidance and direction here. I have been working on the 100th video project. I got your package of all the stuff, and Patrick and I went to the hardware store, we picked up uh, the conduit, and I cut it in half, and I've got all the other parts here laid out on the table. I've spent enormous amounts of time wondering what the heck you guys had in mind. I'm like, there's like a door hinge. I'm like, this is definitely a red herring. Did you put anything in there that's a red herring? No, there's no red herring. Can I modify like the lengths? Can I cut the conduit shorter? Can I cut the two by four in half? Or do I need to leave it as is? I guess you can do whatever you want. I would advise against it. What I'm worried about is like going down the wrong path and like, you guys are like, what an idiot. Like, what is he doing? Well, tell us what you got figured out so far. The labels, I think are kind of like the big clue. There are eight labels and eight buttons. So I'm assuming that it's like a two player game. Is that a fair assumption? I cannot disclose this information. Oh my gosh. But there's two sets of those that are identical. That would mean to me that that's like a two player game. It's a good hunch. Okay, so the swap of the power up has like really given me a lot of trepidation. I'm like, what on earth could these mean? You're giving me frustratingly little information here. That's that's the point, right? That's that is the point. That's the goal. Okay, maybe the two by fours are like end to end and they're hinged together in the middle. Like this could fold. Is that right? Ian's starting to laugh. I have I have no poker face apparently. It's not right. Dang no. it. <laughs> But it's closer than your last idea. I did use the hinge, yeah. That's, you didn't tell me what size of hinge, what style of hinge. I don't know if you've been to a hardware store, but there are hundreds of different types of hinges. Just whatever works for you. The immediate thing was like a reaction timer game where something lights up and you have to like hit it before it goes away, something like that. Yeah, that sounds fun. The LEDs could like show like an energy bank, like a progress bar. I like the idea of a progress bar. Is that your way of telling me I'm on the right track? I cannot confirm or deny. No, I know Ian's face just confirmed. I, I'm asking the questions to Jonathan and I'm looking at Ian's face to tell me the truth. Honestly, I, I need to start building this thing. I'm gonna be going down the wrong path. So I need a little bit more help here. Think about the hinge and how it's the perfect color. That's your hint. So there, this is the same color as the conduit? It is the same color as the conduit. So this is supposed to hinge the conduit, not the two by fours. This is your project. A yes or a no would be really appreciated. If we give you too much information and you won't have the epiphany. This is very obvious to you guys, like, but I, it's, I am just not seeing the vision at all. So th do the LEDs go on the conduit or do they go on the wood? If I put two five foot pieces together, that makes 10 feet, which is the same length as the LED strip. That math is jiving. <laughs> How many more hints should we give me? And do you, do you like, we Got only have a few more minutes of this phone call and like I am, I have nothing to go on to actually get any work done today. So here I am in the middle of my phone call with the only two people who actually know what I'm supposed to be building. I've thrown out idea after idea and they give me riddle after riddle. I am running out of time. The call is almost over and I still have no clear direction. And I cannot waste the whole day building the wrong thing. I am out of patience, low on answers and I need a breakthrough. 
Have you have you ever played any retro games? Some similar game mechanics to something like some of those games, maybe. Thank you. Pinball. With, 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 Pinball. Oh. Yeah. yeah. This project has something to do with the mechanics of pinball, and that was just enough of a clue to get me going in the right direction. Fortunately, that's exactly what happens in episode two of this series, which drops next week. I'll finish my conversation with Ian and Jonathan, and the vision of what I'm supposed to be building will snap into focus.